thank you for watching this video. It's a very special occasion because it's haze day. Well, I hope that all of you are fine. I'm just going to take this out for a moment because I have someone very special to introduce to all of you. His name is Mr. Simon Liang. He's a millionaire, internet entrepreneur, and there he is. Hello. He looks so cool, right? Well, Mr. Simon Liang, thank you so much for having me in the house. I pretend to look cool. Thank you for having me, actually. It's Excellent. a pleasure to be doing an interview with you. Awesome. Are you able to show us how you really look like? Sure, if you go to... <laughs> This is not something that you want to see. I'm sure it's not what you would pay to see, but it's okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> look at that. He's more handsome now. Well, um, Mr. Leong, I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Sure. I'd like to find out a little bit more because I understand that you are an internet marketer. Mm -hmm. And what is exactly, what is an internet marketer and what do you do and why do you choose this path? Like, can you share with us? Sure, there are many different ways to identify yourself as an internet marketer. Some people think that, you know, it's something that you would normally do when you're at home, facing four walls, teaching every single day. That's one aspect of internet marketing. Basically, the process of knowing and understanding how to use the internet to monetize and to build online businesses. So with the skills, however, that you acquire doing internet marketing, there are many different paths that you can follow. You, know, you can actually get a really glorified job and get a really high paying salary because many companies nowadays are looking for that type of skill. But if you have the skill, it's really interesting because most people, they want to use the skill to get a higher paying job, but they don't know that it's also an opportunity for you to build a lot more freedom for yourself. If you have the skill and you know how to monetize and drive traffic to websites and doing everything that you can in what we call the internet marketing world, there are many, many different things that you can build yourself up to for anything that you want to do in life. Oh, wow, wow. So you are originally from? Originally from Hong Kong. Okay. And then grew up in the US, which is why I look like this, but I don't like this. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> so what brings you to Singapore then? Like, why, why are you here in Singapore? Well, just to go off on a little bit of the unanswered part of your question from earlier, the, the reason why I chose this path is because back in, I think I was still at university at the time, and the economy was really good in the States, but I was lucky enough to find a job at Google. And so at Google, they, it was a brand new company back in the day, and so nobody knew who they were or what they did. They started a brand new advertising department, and I was one of the individuals who helped build that department up. So I, for about four and a half, five years, I was working inside Google, learning a lot about the marketing aspect of it. So that was what got me interested in the first place, because I was working with a lot of different clients who were making so much money that I was thinking, if they were asking me for help, what can I do for myself? Obviously, there was a lot more to learn. And inside Google, you know, ultimately, it was, it was a great job, but ultimately, it was a JOD. You know, there was only so much capacity you can do in terms of growth. Personally and professionally, I felt like there was no more I could grow. So I started doing internet marketing on my own, took the skills that I learned as a result of working at Google, wow. and was, was able to build a lot of different businesses online and offline as well. And so I started getting into the speaking aspect of it in about August 2006. That was around the time that I started working uh, for myself as an entrepreneur as well. So for several years, I was on the road a lot. We were working on a lot of different projects, you know, just uh, local, different cities. In one year, I was in 50 50 different countries. 50 different countries. Wow. Probably over 200 days on the road just so that I can, wow. you know, bring bring the message of internet marketing outside to all the different communities. So is internet marketing your passion? Is that what you love to do in life? Inter internet marketing, I think it contributes to yeah. my passion yeah. in life. My passion, I think, ultimately, I like just to do nothing. <laughs> I'm one of the laziest okay. people that you'll ever meet once you get to know me. You know, you know, you know me pretty well. You know, yeah. I don't like to go out of yep. the house. I'm the one of the people who face four walls. So how can I make money facing four walls? The great thing about internet marketing, as long as you have a computer and an internet connection, you can be in business anywhere in the world. Wow. And you know, that's that's one of my passions. And the other passion, obviously, is the, the teaching and spreading the message of internet marketing. You know, just this past month, we've been to Vietnam in two cities in Vietnam, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, as well as in the Philippines and some other wow. places as well. Bringing internet marketing into a completely brand new community. These individuals, they work so hard. Yes. Talking about, you know, 
maybe 50, 60, 70 hour weeks. Their average wow. salary is about 200 USD a month. Yeah. You know, and so we teach them the skills. To, to, you know, if, if you want, you can make $200 a day. Yeah. You know, or $200 an hour. Yeah. That's what you really want to do. And so a big passion is the traveling aspect, and that's a big reason why I'm in Singapore. Yeah. Because you know, over the last several years, I've had the honor and opportunity to work with you know, lots of different business partners yeah. all around the world. But right now, I'm very actively working on building new businesses right here in Singapore with, with my local Singaporean partners. And you know, we have some really big plans oh, for, wow. for the next several months to come to the next few years. Wow, that sounds so interesting. Yeah? Okay, so I understand Mr. Leong, you actually run several courses, which one I have personally attended mm -hmm. and it has helped a lot in my blog statistics. So you have to check it out, especially if you're a blogger. But what are some of the other courses that you run so that, you know, my readers over here will know of the sure. courses? Sure. Yeah. Well, depending on where you are in the world and depending on what your actual skill level and your interests are, we do have several different courses that are designed for complete newbies okay. to those who are a little bit more intermediate and even more advanced in the business. But everything that we have so far currently running, they're all geared towards internet marketing. Mm -hmm. Some of them are geared towards search and optimization. Some of them are geared towards, you know, pay-per-click advertising and marketing. Some of them are on social media. And many of it depend on what your actual goals are. There's several different business models that we focus on, from yeah. affiliate marketing, which is the process of selling other people's products and services so that you don't have to have your own, yeah. right? Or if you want to create your own products and services, later on write your own book, create your own home study course, become a speaker, you know, do some local business marketing with local local businesses, which yeah. is a great opportunity right here in Singapore. So yeah. There's so, so many different businesses who don't know how to get online. Yeah. So, you know, there's so many different things that we that we can cover, but depending on what your interests are and what your your loyal fans here <laughs> really like, um, you know, we have we have anything for any of our friends who really like to you know, do something with, with the internet and not really depend on their job not really depend on just one stream of income because what's going to happen the next day, what's going to happen tomorrow if your job, yeah. you know, says that, you know, we're going to go out of business or they're going to fire you, whatever, you know, you yeah. basically want to person of your income is, is out. You know, with the internet, you can do multiple sources of income. So let's say tomorrow, if, if, you, if you've been promoting Amazon products, for example, when Amazon goes out of business, what's going to happen? I don't care, I have 50, 100 different other sources of, yeah. of business, of business models that I can basically profit from. So, there's a lot of different opportunities for anybody who wants to learn about internet marketing and becoming an internet entrepreneur, become really lazy like me, or if you want to travel as well. There's there's a lot of different paths that we can take them on. Oh, that, that's so fun, yeah? yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm learning and following the direction that Mr. Leong has helped me, and yeah, it's been really good so far. And I'm actually attending another course in about two weeks' time. So I think that one is sold out already, right? Oh yeah, sold it's sold out for months. Yeah, yeah, it's sold out for months. So you can check out, you know, you don't have to be a Singaporean to actually attend the course. They run many different courses like in Indonesia, Philippines, and all around the world. So um, Mr. Liu, as we come to the end of the interview, are you able to share with us some advices that you would like to give to the readers out there on how they can follow um, or how they can take a new step towards internet marketing? Sure. Because internet marketing is something um, that a lot of people want to do, but they don't know how they where to start or how they should do it and maybe just a bit of advice on how they can follow their passion, you know? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Well, a, a really great opportunity for anybody who wants to get into internet marketing and I've been talking about this for, for a number of years. It really depends on what your own personal goals are, what your objectives are. When I first got started, I was lucky enough to be inside Google. So I learned a lot about internet marketing at that point, but what many people don't know is that during that time, I also invested a lot in myself. I invested in how to learn how to do the tangible business, how to actually be able to make money and monetize using the skills that we already have. So at that time, I made the mistake of wasting two years and probably over $100,000 USD just learning about the wrong things or maybe trying to uh, find something else that isn't really what I wanted to do. So what I would recommend for you is if you are, you know, if you are during the, in the path of wanting to do internet marketing, first figure out what it is that you want to do as a business model. Do you want to have your own product? Do you want to build your own company? Do you want to promote other people's products and services? And then learn it and then apply it because another mistake that I made was I, I was learning for a very long time over two years but I never took any action and when you start to accumulate all these different skills what's going to happen is you're going to end up being confused so it stops when it stops basically when you finally 
figure out your course of action because when the opportunity arises, when you're actually going to find success, is when you stop taking the notes and you start taking action. So that's what we really strive to do and to encourage and motivate our students to do because many people, they come to the courses, but come Monday, the course is over, they go back to work, they go back with their, you know, everyday life and nothing ever changes so if you want to make that change for yourself for your family or, or whatnot you know you you really need to devote yourself and, and treat it as a business not as a hobby because ultimately if you want to build those results for yourself become a next success story for any of your mentors you know and, and especially for your family this is something that is very very important for you to to understand so go for it you know make high goals you know it's okay if you shoot for the stars and so what if you land on the moon? You know, people have goals of making ten thousand dollars a month, but they give up because they start making a few hundred dollars a month, or maybe a few thousand dollars a month, and that's not good enough for them. Well, guess what? You know, you're ultimately going to have to build up to any sort of goal and objective. You're going to start from the beginning and build your way up. So don't, don't, don't. It doesn't matter. You know, don't give up. You know, persevere. It's just kind of like playing games, kind of like playing Candy Crush or whatnot. You know, you hit a level, level 50, and you're like, oh, this level is so hard, I'm going to give up. Don't give up. Keep playing it. You know, later on, you're, you're going to beat it. And after you beat it, you're going to go, wow, not only did I beat it, I got three stars. After I got three stars, oh, guess what? I'm also number one among all of my friends. So it's a matter of not giving up, persevering, and striving through every single thing because once you hit that accomplishment, once you reach your goals, it is the best feeling in the world. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Liu. It's um, been a pleasure and I really appreciate it. Please and call me Mr. Simon. Mr. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for now. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. Do rate and comment, and I'll see you all again shortly, okay? Bye-bye!